2017 KTM 250SXF. There is no way around the impact that the new WPF 48mm airforks have on the performance of the 2017 KTM 250SXF. With the airforks, every aspect of the 250SXF now. You might be asking yourself, how can one engine make so much more power than its competition? The answer is revolutions per minute. KTM's engineers designed the engine to rev, not just for the 14,000 revolutions per minute of the production bike, but for the 15,000 to 16,000 revolutions per minute of their works bikes. In the search for RPM, KTM eliminated needle bearings from the top and bottom end, preferring to use plain bearings, actually a bushing, that had no moving pieces to blow apart when the RPM went stratospheric. They downsized the engine so that its compact architecture would only weigh 57.5 pounds, thanks to titanium valves, a finger follower drivetrain, 14 to 1 CP piston die-cast cases and a throttle body with the injector KTM 250SXF is not weak down low, it's just not what the Katoom does best. Off the bottom the 2017 KTM 250SXF snaps to attention, but not with the fervor of the YZ250F, KX250 for CRF250. KTM's low to mid transition is solid enough to generate initial thrust. Once in the mid range, 